Hey everyone, I am here today to show you Gabor Sweet Talk in the color Mahogany, which is GL30. And it is one of my favorite colors. I love this color, Mahogany. So we'll take a look at this one outside at the end of the video as well. So Sweet Talk, let me tell you guys, I have been thinking about getting Sweet Talk forever. Um, you know, I love Girl Mono, I love those shorter bob, curly bob cuts, and I've always been a little afraid of Sweet Talk because I've heard Sweet Talk has a lot of hair, Sweet Talk has a lot of permatees, but over the Black Friday sales at the end of November, I was able to score this Sweet Talk for a really good deal. It was a super sale, and so I purchased it. That was the end of November. It is now the middle of March and I am just getting around to filming this video. And the reason is because I have not been able to make Sweet Talk look very good. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. Um, I know the videos, I'm not supposed to be making wigs look good, but I was really struggling. I personally don't really love this style. And I wanted to be able to just make sure that was the truth, that it wasn't, that I needed to get used to it and all of those things. So I have put this wig on 10 times and I have soaked her and I've scrunched her and I've put product in her and I've let her sit on a wig head. I have done all the tricks and I personally, this is not the way that I had hoped Sweet Talk would look. So, okay, I got that out of the way. Let me talk about Sweet Talk. Maybe I'm losing half of you now, but um, the thing is, is this whole wig journey is a personal journey, and what doesn't, what I don't particularly care for, someone else is gonna love. And I know Taz loves Sweet Talk. It's one of her favorite wigs, and it's kind of what made me want to get her. And so there are a lot of people, and probably a lot of you out there, who may have tried this and love it. So this is just my personal opinion about this particular piece. I will tell you guys that this one doesn't look as curly as quite a few of the Sweet Talks that I have seen videos on. So this one just may be one of those anomaly wigs, which is unfortunate because I'm a reviewer. And so when I get anomaly wigs, I talk about them on video. So it's the, I guess it's the curse of the quality control and I have a video on this where I talk about how hard it is because you never know what you're gonna get when you get a wig. It's literally like a box of chocolates. You never know what you will get and um, sometimes they're super cute and sometimes they're not. I have, um, I think I've owned eight or nine girl monos in my lifetime and I they all look slightly different and I've had one. Had that been my first girl mono, I would have never ever ordered another. It was that bad. So. It's, it's the journey, guys, and so I'm going to tell you the truth and let the chips fall where they may. So let's take a look at this particular sweet talk. So what I've done, I just kind of told you, I have soaked her, I've scrunched her, I've, sh I've shaken her out, um, I have put... Uh, product in her and I scrunched her with product. I mean, I've really tried, I've combed her and tried to just see if maybe the curls just needed to be combed out. I mean, I have done quite a bit. I haven't thinned her. I haven't taken a scissors to her. That's the only thing I haven't done. And so I believe that this particular one, this is all the curl you're getting out of it. It's just kind of a messy wave. Something about Sweet Talk though, she is so much hair for the length. She's just, she has so much permatease. I mean, she, over here, is full of permatease. Sometimes you'll get a wig and it'll be full of permatease up here. This one is kind of like all over is full of permatease. Um, it, it sort of reminds me of a shorter version of Mia by Tressalore. Um, I struggled with Mia for some of the same reasons. Just the way that the permatease, the way that the volume fell, the curls weren't exactly like I'd hoped that they would be. So there were just a lot of challenges for me with Mia. And I know a lot of people like Mia. Um, and so this one is, is a similar challenge. You know, the way that the front lays, let me get a little closer, you know, it kind of has this swoop. And there just doesn't really seem to be much in the way of curl or waves, like right here. And then there's a ton over here. So it's just, you know, it's a very kind of choppy, layered, um, deconstructed look with kind of waves and curls. I mean, there's a couple of cute little curls even right here. And then it's messy waves up here. 
So, you know, it's just sort of all over the place. Uh, Sweet Talk does have a lace front. And I love Gabor lace fronts. And actually, they did a really good job with this one as well, even though the color is dark. I don't know how close I can get and continue to have focus. Um, even though the color is dark, it's a really good lace front. There's not a lot of highlighting in this color. The GL 630, 6 is a medium brown, medium dark brown, and then 30 is a, a medium auburn. And I love their mahogany because it's just, it's this warm, chocolatey color with some really subtle highlight effect, but it's not overly highlighted. Mahogany is a very, very beautiful, warm brunette. So for my brunette sisters out there who like a little bit of warmth and like a little bit of red tones, auburn tones, super Super beautiful without being over the top. Let's take a look at the cap. I will say, you know, it feel if the coverage is really good on this one, it feels like it it just is fits in all the right places as far as the coverage is really excellent. So it so Sweet Talk has lace front, mono part, velvet ear tabs, extended nape. Velcro adjusters, and then it's just really kind of poofy and pillowy. There's just permatease throughout the whole cap, um, quite a bit of it. Um, she's really lightweight. She's less than three ounces, so from a, a, a weight standpoint, she's super lightweight. She just has a lot of permatease. Um, so the hair volume isn't really, I don't think, the issue. I think it's the permatease that makes her feel like so much hair. Um, she does, I did take her in a little bit, Gabor can be known. And I do struggle with these two to get them to lay right. So on this piece, which I'm gonna sell for a really good price and so somebody can try Gabor Sweet Talk. Um, this one I think is gonna need steam or something. Um, with a good lace front like this, you will be able to pull her off if you wanted to clip her up. Um, personally, if I were to keep this one, I would have to thin and steam. So this one would be a, a bit of a project for me. Um, so if somebody is up for a project and wants to try Sweet Talk, um, she's brand new. I mean, I've, I've messed with her, but I haven't messed with her in a bad way, if that makes sense. You know, I'm, I'm very good to my wigs, but um, I haven't taken any heat or anything to her. Um, the coverage, the ear tabs go way down on me. Like these are, these are, um, the kind of coverage where glasses over a long period of time may be a challenge. Um, again, that's my head. Your head may be different and the coverage may be different. I have cinched this one in a little bit. Uh, so I would say, you know, if you're um, average, solidly average, you're gonna be really just fine with this with this cap. I just did, um, I'm trying to knock out a few reviews today because I have some wigs I've been hanging on to. And I did um, Sheer Elegance by Gabor and it's an average cap as well. That cap is huge. That one I would say is for sure big head friendly. This one, definitely, I think you could, you know, close, getting close to average large, you might be okay with this one. Um, it's not as big as the Sheer Elegance though, for sure. Um, so I would say, you know, if you're bigger than me, you're, you're gonna be okay. If you're large, I don't know about that. I mean, there's some good stretch, but um, I have extra cap, but just not a ton of extra cap in here. So, you know, take that for what you will. Uh, so that's really it. That's just all I wanted to tell you guys about Sweet Talk. You know, the, the uh, fibers feel great. Gabor fibers are awesome and I love Gabor fibers. The color is fantastic. If you really like messy curls, if you're not afraid to take a thinning shears to a wig, um, keep in mind, if, if the permatease is the only problem and not the hair volume, Thinning will be mar only marginally helpful, if at all, because you can't thin away permatease. But I think if it were just, I think if there were just some different layers in here, it could look cuter. And then, you know, if this were up a little off the face, that might be helpful as well. So that's my two cents about Sweet Talk. I'm sorry I couldn't rave about it. I know I've seen some really cute Sweet Talks on people, so I have to believe that this one is just not as cute as some of them. And um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to try to answer them. I'll show you this color outside. I think I did an out of the box. Now I really can't remember. It's because it's been months. I'm pretty sure I did an out of the box. And so if there is one, it's gonna be on the end of this video. Let me know if you guys have questions. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I didn't turn everybody off of Sweet Talk, but it, you know, the truth will has to come out. Talk to you soon. All right guys, this is Mahogany. Sorry about the banging. There's a construction project going on in my house right now. 
Mahogany is so gorgeous. Really beautiful. Let's go to a lighter background. I always feel self-conscious when I'm out here filming in cars drive by. <laughs> what I won't do for my wig sisters, right? Oh, my husband's home. Garage is opening. And one final time ahead with the gray. I love this color. So, so warm. Subtly highlighted, not too bad at all. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, here we go with the out of the box on Sweet Talk. See if I can find it. She's a lot of curls. I'm very excited. Okay. All right. I have had Sweet Talk on my head because I just filmed a video on uh, what happens when you're disappointed with a wig out of the box. So if you haven't seen that video, I have that out there. But I wanted to show you so I didn't do anything to her, I just took her out of the box. So this is Sweet Talk out of the box. Holy buckets. Yeah, she's got a little box hair. Definitely this whole thing. <laughs> but I can tell she's gonna be so cute. I mean, this is just, my thing. I love wigs like this. So I'm really excited to get to play with her. And so I'm actually going to spray her down with water right when I'm done filming this. So anyway, you've already seen all that, but I wanted you to see this. So again, I did just film a video that's all about what the disappointment that can happen when you get a wig out of the box and it doesn't look like you are hoping. And so if you haven't seen that, take a look at it. Um, I don't know, it's not any groundbreaking information, but it is some validation that, you know, um, wigs, very rarely are they shake and go. I have had very few wigs that were just shake and go. I have had some that I put it on my head and I could literally have worn it that minute. Uh, but that's not usually the case, especially with curly wigs like this. Uh, you know, I think curly wigs have just their own unique needs when they come out of a box. And, you know, the shorter more volume they have even more so sometimes so anyway this is out of the box of sweet talk and so um, I'll have told you all about what I did to her in the front part of this video let me know if you guys have any questions